Hello guys, this is Kevin with Lumpia Life and I uh, came across something yesterday uh, being a brand new uh, person living abroad. Uh, we are actually starting our third month here. Uh, October 2nd was uh, the end of month two. So I am still a newbie but I'm learning as I go every day and uh, this is uh, something that I found out yesterday and I wanted to bring it to the attention of other people uh, thinking about moving to uh, the Philippines or another country or even traveling. If you're just going on vacation, this is a great place to uh, sign up. Uh, it's totally free. It's uh, from the U.S. Department of State uh, Service of the Bureau of Consular Affairs. Uh, it's uh, and the way I found this is belonging to some Facebook groups. Okay, so um, if you're traveling abroad or you are going to be living abroad, there are many groups out there. Uh, like when we went to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, um, you know, there's uh, groups on everything about Puerto Vallarta. Um, so. Uh, just type in the search bar of your Facebook, uh, you know, any country you're going to, or uh, like myself, uh, I found some groups on expats living in the Philippines, Americans in the Philippines, uh, military veterans in the Philippines. There's many, many groups out there that can uh, help you make your uh, tri trips uh, or living abroad uh, helpful. Uh, these groups are helpful. Uh, and something came across yesterday that, uh, you know, I should have gotten an alert and I should have been signed up for this uh, STEP program, this Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. If you go to step.state.gov, uh, this is where you're going to land. And you know, it's really easy to set up an account. Uh, just click this, create an account. Um, you can put in uh, emergency contacts and God forbids if you ever get into trouble or... Uh, something were to happen to you while you are abroad, um, the Department of State, uh, the consular of the country that you are in, will have the information. It will be easier to uh, try to get you some help. Um, but also, get alerts, okay? You can get alerts. Um, a guy posted on one of my Facebook groups. I'll show it to you right here. Uh, he received this today from the U.S. Embassy. This is one of my uh, Americans in the in the Philippines or ex, ex, expats in the Philippines. Um, one of my Facebook groups that I belong to. This guy posted this. Came in his email, obviously. Uh, came in uh, October 9th, which was yesterday. Today is October 10th. Uh, health alert, U.S. Embassy, Manila, October 9th, 2019. Location the Philippines health officials have reported an outbreak of polio in the Philippines Polio is back in the Philippines uh, uh, Doing some doing some of my own research DYOR do your own research uh, looks like uh, polio has been our Philippines have been polio free for 19 years. It's been away. It hasn't there's been no cases since 2000 actually before the 2000 so um, this is kind of concerning and uh, you know uh, as children uh, in most most kids in the United States they get their vaccines and uh, uh, you know vaccines is a whole nother thing but uh, this is not a political thing but uh, uh, most of us had our polio vaccine when we were kids and I'm there is a polio verse booster for adults, and I'm sure in the military I had a booster shot. And also 11 years ago when I came to the Philippines, I made sure that my, all my shots were up to date. So I'm almost positive that uh, I am uh, vaccinated. But uh, it's just something that you want to uh, keep, keep, uh, keep in the back of your head. So... Uh, after reading this, you know, I started doing my own research, started Googling things, and uh, went to the CDC, uh, cdc.gov. This is uh, from the United States Center for Disease Control and Prevention. 
And if you go into Traveler's Health, you put your destination where you are or where you're going. Um, I'll go ahead and put the Philippines in here. Take a look. There it is. And uh, what kind of traveler are you? I'm just going to click go. I'm all, all of the above except I'm not pregnant. But, uh, yeah, so it just gives you advice. Uh, outbreak alert at the top. There's a dengue outbreak in the Philippines. We are aware of that one. That one's been around for a little bit. Uh, and the way we are protecting ourselves is uh, with the mosquito repellent the best we can. And make sure there's no sitting water anywhere uh, the best we can. But if you scroll down, travel health notices, alert level 2. This is the polio one. It came out October 8th. Again, today is October 10th. So this is brand new. It just came out. Uh, and if we click this, it says there's a known outbreak, a uh, polio outbreak in the Philippines. And they recommend that everybody that's coming to the Philippines be vaccinated. So, and I know that the Department of Health in the Philippines uh, is on it and they are uh, breaking out the... Uh, polio vaccinations again um, you know this uh, is a pretty uh, deadly disease and it's nothing to be taken lightly so um, I was uh, wondering why how this guy got his alert and that's what led me to this smart traveler enrollment program really easy to create an account you just put in your name uh, how long you're going to be out. If you don't know when you're coming back, there is a box that says you don't have, have a, an exact return date at this time. There's a box you can check. Um, but uh, put in some emergency contacts and uh, you can put in your passport information if you want. But it just gives you and your email address so you can get alerts like this. So I just wanted to bring that uh, to those that are thinking about moving abroad or uh, traveling out of the country for vacation. Just something uh, good to uh, good to do, in my opinion. And everybody's got an opinion, so. It's totally up to you, but uh, you know, I want these type of alerts if it's going to be, affect any of my health or uh, you know, if there's uh, kidnapping near, near me or something I, I want to be notified so uh, let's take a look at another Philippines declares polio outbreak as disease returns after 19 years now let's take a look at this I don't know how uh, legit this uh, Rappler website is but just doing my own research and I have seen this in a couple other websites that uh, Samples from Manila and Davao tested positive, positive for polio virus. Now, Manila and Davao, those are two separate provinces here in the uh, Philippines. Manila and Luzon and Davao and the Mindanao. So, it's not just in one place. It's happening in two places so far. So, make sure you are updated with your polio virus if you're coming to the uh, Philippines. And get signed up for this STEP program so you can get some alerts. Uh, if uh, anything should happen where you are. All right, guys, uh, I am not a professional, and uh, I am still a newbie as a living abroad, but I'm learning every day as I go, and I, you know, if I knew about this before I moved over, I probably would be getting these same alerts. So hopefully this helped some of you guys out, and... Uh, I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.